Apart from Russia, a handful of other countries, including the US, China, Italy, Britain, Japan and Israel are known to be working on technology related to the mass deployment of unmanned aerial vehicles, whether for use in combat or reconnaissance. The Scientific and Research Institute for Long Distance Radar Communications, Russian acronym, NIIDAR, Russia's premier radar system developer, is currently working on a new cutting-edge radar capable of detecting the precision of swarms of drones, said a spokesman for the company's press service. Speaking to Sputnik on the sidelines of the Army 2020 military exhibition underway outside Moscow, the spokesman explained that although existing radar systems can detect drone swarms, they cannot discern the exact number, and detection can be modeled depending on size. Drone. Several versions of the system are being developed for sectoral and for omnidirectional airspace control, with the ability to detect small and low-speed unmanned aerial vehicles, including those operating in swarms. The number of objects that can be detected simultaneously is only limited by the computing power of the system. According to NIIDAR Director General Kirill Makarov, amidst the current mass use of drones in various arrangements, the creation of the new radar will help operators ensure the safety of critical infrastructure from breaches of airspace for industrial espionage or other illegal purposes. The company believes that its radar system can benefit both the government and the private sector, and has great export potential. Developers in several countries are working on drone and anti-drone swarm technology for military applications. The US itself has several separate programs in this area, with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA. The Pentagon is working on concepts including a computer brain interface to allow humans to control swarms of drones with their minds, and the Gremlin Project by Dynetics, which envisions the deployment of drones to and from C-130 transport aircraft. In early August 2020, the U.S. Army's Combat Capability Development Command issued notification to defense contractors of the capabilities they wish to deploy in next-generation UAVs, or air-launched effects. The Army wants the new drone swarm to have the capability to carry out lethal strikes, act as decoy against integrated air defense systems, and carry out reconnaissance. In addition, the Army wants two different types of drones, including a small UAV weighing no more than 100 pounds 45.35 kilograms with a range of at least 100 kilometers at a speed of 30 knots. A large drone weighs no more than 225 pounds 102 kilograms, has a range of 350 kilometers, and a cruise speed of at least 70 knots. The U.S. defense industry is also known to be working on drone swarm defense, with the Air Force Research Laboratory recently testing a new piece of equipment known as the High Strength Tactical Operational Responder, which is said to be capable of taking down multiple unmanned aerial targets while using electromagnetic attacks. Coyote, the roaming ammunition system developed by Raytheon for taking down enemy drones using kinetic power, is another program the Pentagon has approved. Developers in China, Italy, UK, Japan and Israel are also working on their own swarm anti-drone swarm technology, with one product from Israeli defense giant Rafael using a laser to drop small commercial drones in succession. Last month, Abishar Prakash, geopolitical future expert and author of The Age of Killer Robots, told Sputnik that the rapid advances in technology including kamikaze drones, AI-powered drones, and drone swarms, make it important for countries to at least talk about the possibility of establishing rules or safeguards for the new weapons system to guard against potential disasters.